I'm Dr. Brian Snyder. I'm a functional neurosurgeon at a Neurologic Surgery PC, and I was hoping to talk to you today a little bit about epilepsy and epilepsy surgery and some of the uh, amazing uh, improvements that have occurred uh, in recent uh, years with uh, epilepsy surgery. So epilepsy, as you may know, is a uh, seizure disorder. Uh, a patient has epilepsy if they have multiple seizures. Uh, and uh, for many people, this can be severely disabling, uh, can lead to uh, uh, impairment in the ability to work, go to school, function in society, etc. I'm part of a multidisciplinary team uh, with our group uh, offering uh, comprehensive care for patients with epilepsy. I work in conjunction with both the local neurologist and our epileptologist uh, to uh, better treat patients with uh, epilepsy. We uh, work with a neuropsychologist, uh, we work with neuroradiologists, when necessary neuroanesthesiologists, uh, and uh, other uh, 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 clinical specialists to optimize patient care. Now, most patients with epilepsy don't need surgery. Uh, many of those patients, however, do need the care of a qualified team of individuals to treat their disease. Unfortunately, however, many patients with seizure disorders will need to see a, a, a team such as ours to better optimize their care. In many situations, uh, better adjustment of medications uh, and uh, lifestyle modification may be adequate to treat their seizures. Uh, however, in a large subset of patients, we would, we would consider surgery to uh, optimize their care uh, in many patients, surgery can offer the hope for seizure freedom uh, or significantly decrease seizures, decrease risks of injury due to seizures, and decrease risk of death due to seizures as well. Uh, surgery for epilepsy can be defined as either palliative or curative. Curative surgery for epilepsy strives to identify the region of, of seizure onset and to do an operation to either disconnect that area from the rest of the brain or to remove that area. Palliative surgery is typically surgery that involves doing something to decrease the frequency or severity of, of seizures. This may include vagus nerve stimulation or other types of neurostimulation. Uh, I'd like to highlight two exciting new uh, uh, procedures that we are offering for patients with, uh, with seizures. One of these is something called Neuropace. Neuropace is a revolutionary new FDA-approved device that involves placing electrodes over the brain, connecting them to a pacemaker implanted in the skull. This may offer the opportunity for seizure freedom and decreased seizures for many patients that are suffering from epilepsy, as well as patients that are suffering from epilepsy that have been told they are not surgical candidates in the past. I'm happy to have uh, performed this operation with good success in my patients, and we think that this procedure may offer an opportunity for many patients to enjoy a better quality of life. Another procedure we are now performing on patients with seizures is something called visual ACE, and this involves placement of a probe attached to a, a laser that allows us to burn the cells in the area responsible for seizures through a tiny hole made in the skull and allows the patients frequently to have a significantly improved outcome, uh, decreased recovery compared to standard surgery, and many of those patients may be seizure-free. Some of those patients may be able to go home the same day or the next day, depending on the exact procedure. Both of these are exciting new procedures available for patients with epilepsy. In many situations, however, we can use our routine and standard procedures as well. And for many patients, the combination of several different treatments, perhaps medication and operation, etc., can ensure a better quality of life. We take care of all of our patients like our family. We will get you through these procedures without any undue or risk or complications and we look forward to seeing those of you that have questions in the future. Thank you very much.